Hi guys, so we're going to do a collective. We're going to see what's showing up. But I want to thank uh, Mark Rizio for his donation. Thank you so much. And Michelle, thank you both so much. I appreciate it. All right, so let's see what the energy is. Can't let go. All right. They want to return. Someone wants to come back, a second chance, make amends. They feel like they've made a lot of mistakes. They could send a message call. Oh, it'll be shocking though. Sudden, sudden change, news, surprise, transformation. One more. It's the divine masculine. So maybe they've made some sort of major change. Let's do a more heavy heart. Okay. All right, let's see what is going on. Not sure, I'm gonna, the shocking card. I don't know if you're surprised to hear from this person, if you're surprised by the change. Is there something with that? It could be a shocking news. Transformation. Holding back. Four of coins. Seven of coins. Eight of swords. Feeling stuck. Looking at the past. Holding back. Not maybe, maybe they're also surprised that you possibly, possibly haven't reached out with Eight of Swords, or maybe you're, maybe it's just been a long time. Eight of Swords, Seven of Coins tells me there's history, there's something the two of you, you know, times you two of you shared. And he's been holding on. Maybe this is somebody from quite a while, but it, quite a while ago, but it doesn't have to be. All right, let's just put these back in. We'll see. I'm sure the tarot will tell us better. All right, so we have the Three of Coins, the world. The Three of Wands and the Five of cup, Cups. Oh my goodness, why can I not talk? This person is sad with the Five of Cups. Three of Coins. Fool, Eight of Swords, the Sun, and then the Tower. Some sort of breakthrough, some sort of... I think this person is shocked, okay, is what I'm kind of getting. I'm getting like they are... Either they've had some sort of transformation or shocking news. It feels like it's on their side from the way the tarot is looking. Something didn't move forward here, though. Okay, so we have the three of coins you guys got along. And there was this full energy and then eight of wands. Oh, I wonder if somebody went off and did something and found out they weren't happy. And now they want to come back. Or they've been stuck somewhere. Eight of swords. Page of swords. Sun and the King of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we have the Five of Cups with the Tower and the Four of Cups. I feel like they were shocked by something that um, they weren't expecting. Like they, they maybe they went to go do something and they realized it wasn't what they thought. It doesn't have to be a third party or a person in this. It could be. I mean, it could be. It's not showing that at all. But it's like coming in those the Sun with the King of Swords. Show me something else. What is going on? Eight of Cups, soulmate energy, feeling sad, having some sort of breakthrough. That could be the shock card, the tower card, sudden change, sudden news, and then coming back very quickly. So they made a mistake, something they want to return, they want to come back, and because they just feel like whatever they chose or did, they don't like it, they're not happy there, they were excited. I mean, this could even be like someone chose a career and now they hate it, or chose to go off, you know, to some other city and now they're homesick. I mean, it could be a lot of different things, but this, this person is very sad. They want to come back to you. So uh, only you know, you know, the major details behind it. Let me grab this deck really quick. Here. Is it even named Scott? It's not that name pops up a lot. I don't know why, but just, I don't, I don't know anybody with that name. Maybe it's just an S name. Okay, higher power. TikTok, and it's in reverse. So this deck does have reverse meanings. I would think this means like time is running out. There's not, there's like time is now. It's time to get something done. This person needs to do something now quickly. It talks about divine timing, but in reverse, it's not. It's about happy, happy. Wow, I feel like you're gonna be happy to hear from this person. I feel like. I just, I, you know what, your person, this energy is a little bit different. It's not the same energy of like, oh, you know, I, I chose someone different or I did, you know. This person, like, it's like they're homesick for you. They're heartsick. But, um, and they want to just come back towards you. 
They want to come now. They want to come over to you now. They want to see you now. Um, they're excited to talk to you. This does not have to be like, I mean, for most of you, this is love. Obviously, this is um, a relationship, but it could be something platonic. It could be a friend also I'm getting. Someone just misses you more than they realize. They, you know, didn't think they would miss you this much. Okay. I gotta go to a different deck. I feel like, let's see what this person's feeling. This one will kind of, this might help. What's this person feeling? What's going on here? Okay, this person may feel like they needed space. Maybe that's it because the card says feels trapped. That's the Eight of Swords or controlled. Not going to be all in, taking a break or is ending it. But this reading is showing me the opposite. I think this person already needed space. That may be what's different about this. The Fool and the Eight of Wands, like someone just needed a break or something. They felt like they needed to get away and now they're regretting that. They're like, they don't want space anymore. They want to come back. What is this person feeling? Well, they're running. It's They ran away. They're running away. Now, just FYI for some of you, this person might have a fear or had a fear of commitment. Because this one says can't be tied down. Too much, too soon. So, needing space, running away. Wanting to be independent. Does, does their own thing. Don't tell them what to do. Not the marrying type. But there's something they chose to do that now they're like regretting or they're second guessing it because now they're like, well, no, I want to return. I don't want to be this independent or on my own. They don't like it. They're not happy. And then we have the dreamer card. High maintenance, must live up to their ideals, not happy with reality. They might see you as a dreamer. That could be like how they view you. Maybe it's like they can't make you happy. Maybe that's what, maybe that's the whole problem was in the relationship or whatever. They kept running. They felt like they couldn't please you or something like that. Um, it has something else come to me. I think it had to do with the shock card, but maybe they're shocked or you're, okay, let me see. Secretive, hiding who they are, not the whole truth. You may, may have a side piece. I don't think that's true. Secretive though, dreamer. Maybe this person, when they're out on their own or something, realized that living by themselves or whatever they did didn't live up to their ideals. It's not what they thought. It was they're not happy. And they don't want other people to know or you to know. Let me do another one because there's all masculine energy on that side. This side looks like they're feminine energy. So let me see one more. Yeah, because I'm wondering if this is you and this is them. Not that you both have to be, you know, masculine, feminine, whatever. But opening up, tearing down walls, that's the tower, and showing their true self, revealing. No, I, you know what I'm kind of getting with this person? But this might be all them, but they want to reveal their secret dreams. If you read it backwards, they have other dreams that they never shared with you. Like maybe, I guess you the lighthouse. I don't know if someone lives near a lighthouse or that's a land marker. It's like, you know, when someone has a dream to do something kind of like off the grid or weird or different to other people, like they never share that dream with you. They want to come back. It's not what they thought. This is going to be sudden. And I like this TikTok and being in reverse. This, is, this isn't about divine timing. This is just about timing this is as they want to come back this is something that they just realized or figured out and that they're happier when they're with you you could be also happy to hear from them time apart yeah this is all about being apart from this person we have but here and now your true love is already part of your life having fun wanting to have fun Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other and just trust. For somebody viewing, friendship is under the deck. So for somebody, this could be a friend, a family member, you know, like your sister, your brother, something like that. But for a lot of you, um, I don't, there's something like this is just going to happen. They're just going to possibly, you know, be in your city, be around you, wanting to see you. Just So what do they feel about you? Let's get a little more specific then. What do they feel about you? They want to tell you the truth. What is the truth? What is this message here? They want to talk about it. It could be a fire sign, page of wands, queen of wands is here. This could be you or them. Worrying how you may feel about this connection, the knight of coins. 
See, remember how this card says maybe they felt like you were high maintenance, like they can't live up to your ideal. So keep that in mind. That might be uh, how they view you. So they're coming back with this Knight of Coins energy. Maybe they feel like they can't give you a lot or they don't have a lot to give or something or they don't know what to give. Um, so again, they might feel like you're high maintenance. Or again, it could be vice versa. You may see them as being high maintenance. Okay, what else is going on here? Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Death card. Yeah, not wanting to date anymore, not wanting to party or date, or, you know, they want to be exclusive, possibly here, is what I'm seeing. Could be a Scorpio. I'm also getting the name, like, Jan, a J-A-N, Jan name. Four of Wands, a new beginning. Chariot. Could be an Earth sign. I have King of Pentacles. Waiting or resting with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, under the deck is the Two of Cups with this energy. So, Interesting. I feel like they have more to offer uh, than they realize, or again, they're just like feeling insecure because now they're coming as the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know. I feel like this person and you need to have a deep conversation. I think it's something here about being secretive and need, needing to reveal how they really feel. So it's either is how they're really feeling insecure or they're feeling like they can't live up to your standards or whatever it is. And I, don't, I feel like it's not that big of a deal because I don't know, almost just like for your reading, this person really isn't a true runner. They thought they needed space. They wanted to be independent. They wanted to run away, run away. But as soon as they do that, they're not happy. They want to come back and they want to see you and talk to you and have fun and play with you. They miss you. This person misses you. You make this person really happy. Okay, so some sort of mistake. And for someone I'm getting also, maybe you just had this argument. This, maybe this hasn't been that long ago. Maybe you're just shocked. So, I don't know. There's a nice energy around your person. It's not as heavy as some of the readings I do. So, all right. Let me see what they want to say to you. We'll use this deck before we go. What do they want to say? I want you. Okay. Also, I miss hearing your voice. And I wonder how you feel. And I miss being with you. This person just plain out misses you. They like you, they like to be around you, they miss you. So they don't like where they're at. For some reason, you know, I keep getting like some, like a kid when they go to summer camp and then they don't wanna be there, they're homesick, they wanna go home. I don't know why I'm getting that, but maybe, maybe this is work, you know? I mean, it could be someone who like shows a job overseas or in, you know, something like that, or, and now they just hate it. They don't like it, they don't like being there. So whatever this is, uh, this person misses you. So I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.